for millions of Americans uh, love to hit the green. It may be uh, about enjoying the outdoors or being with friends or getting a little exercise, but there actually could be some other benefits. Our Max Massey explains why playing a round of golf could actually add years to your life. It is a sport that spans generations, young and old, both sharing the love of the green. And teeing up at least once a month may actually add years to your life, according to a new study. Researchers analyzed data from the cardiovascular health study that measures risk factors for heart disease and stroke in those 65 years or older. Participants had regular yearly exams and visited every six months during a 10-month period. Once those exams ended, the participants were contacted to determine whether they had a heart attack or a stroke. More than 300 of the nearly 5,900 participants played golf at least once a month. So when comparing golfers and non-golfers, researchers found golfers had an 8% lower death rate from all causes compared to non-golfers. While researchers were unable to determine if golfing had a direct impact on lowering the risk of a heart attack or stroke, they're currently working to identify what other health conditions may benefit from regular play. The study's lead author says regular exercise, exposure to a less polluted environment, and social interactions provided by golf, all positive for your health. Max Massey, KSAT 12 News. Speaking of golf, spring break is just a few days away, and Seth SA Live has you covered for all your South Texas and staycation fun. When do they get golf? Mike and Fiona, show us what's on tap for today. Boy, do we have a lot coming up on SA Live. You know, sometimes if you're not going anywhere for spring break, you might be kind of stuck for something to do, but boy, do we have some great ideas for you. Oh yes, yeah. so we have rounded up some of the coolest spots to check out and how to look your coolest while doing it. Yes, indeed. How about taking a tour around town? And it's not a walking tour, it's on one of those, those bikes that you lay back on. This is a lot of fun, you're gonna learn a lot and some exercise and just enjoy it. And we go six stories up. There are four levels of family fun. We check out the new Sky Trail over at Natural Bridge Caverns and let me tell you what a fun time. Yeah, that was a blast. Mm -hmm. And something just for the kids. How about some painting workshops? Keep them occupied during spring break. And for a spring break shopping excursion, we're going to take you to a hot spot that is one stop shopping over in Bernie. Yep. And Elder Eats, of course, a lot of people are heading down to Port Aransas and he is checking out some of the fantastic food down there right along the Gulf. And one to feel like a movie star? Well, we can help because we checked out the 360 photo booth. <laughs> okay, this thing, we laugh right out, but this is one of the coolest things and you can actually have it for your next party. Oh yes, where everyone can feel like a little, like a little Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Just a little Hollywood. Oh, piffle, piffle. Piffle, piffle. piffle. And more coming up on SA Live. <laughs> Whataburger's new Fiesta medal is now available for purchase. The burger chain released the medal. It features a spinning Whataburger tent in the middle. One side of the tent claims Viva Fiesta. The other side features the flying W. Bright colors surround the tent. Perfect for Fiesta. You can buy the medal online only at $6.99. That's it. Just $6.99. Not that expensive for a few. Okay. Limited quantities, they yeah. say. Mark your calendars for yesterday. It starts on Thursday, April 16th. Well, for now, just know that the weather for the rest of the day will be okay. Tomorrow morning from 4 a.m. to 7 a.m., there's going to be a thin line of storms moving through San Antonio. Some of those storms could be on the stronger side, so we'll keep an eye on that. And then tomorrow, we'll be able to see mostly cloudy skies and a chance for some isolated showers north of Highway 90. But it's going to be a nice end of the week with tons of sunshine, crisp, chilly mornings in the 40s, comfortable afternoons near 70 degrees as we spring forward Sunday morning. Better hair days ahead. Yeah, I think so. <sighs> okay. <laughs> we can only hope. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we, we don't have to hope. We know oh, SA Live is going to be very, very entertaining. <laughs> SA Live starts right now. Thank Go you. get it. Hey, we are swinging into vacation season where you can zip, climb, and keep the kids active over spring break. And have you ever wanted to swim with stingrays? Well, you don't have to go to the ocean where you can swim with stingrays right here in San Antonio. And David Elder takes a trip to the coast to sample some spectacular Mexican seafood and scallops that are out of this world. Elder Eats in Port Aransas, today on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. 
Happy Tuesday before spring break, and we are celebrating the vacation season a little early. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Osterhage, and actually, we are on the road right now, way down on South Padre Island, and we're recording a special show, and make sure you look for that. It's a brand new show on the go from South Padre, and that's gonna be airing next Friday, March the 13th. Yes, but before we took off, we rounded up the best spring break spots around town, day trip worthy locations, for fun for the family, and great food in South Texas. And of course, the question is, where are you going for spring break? Let us know. Do you have pictures? Uh, have you already planned it? Maybe you went there last mm -hmm. year. Just, you know, maybe some good ideas for somebody else to go. Is it going to be a day trip? Is it going to be all week long? Again, let us know on Twitter pages and Facebook at SA Live KSAT. Well, I just experienced one of the really cool things that you can do right here in town. Have you ever wanted to swim with stingrays or have you done that? I, I did it uh -huh. one time. It was uh -huh. on our honeymoon uh -huh. years and years ago. Well, it's time to do and it it's, again. <laughs> it, it, it's really cool because they are amazing and the soft is silk too. Okay. Yeah. Well, you can do that right here in town over at the San Antonio Aquarium. Take a look. If you've ever wanted to get in the water with sharks and stingrays, you can just head on over right here to the San Antonio Aquarium where you can snorkel with sharks and stingrays in this tank. And here to tell us all about it is Jamie Tank, husband D director. How many species of animals are, are in this tank? Oh my goodness. Yeah. So we have several different species to name off a few. Uh -huh. We have our lovely bat rays right here. We also have leopard sharks, cow nose rays, California brown rays, um, various species of fish from pilot, as well as uh, pinfish and all other sorts of fun, amazing creatures you'd see in the ocean. So who can who can sign up to do this? So really anybody. Uh -huh. So ten and under needs to be accompanied by a paid adult. Um, you at least need to know how to swim. That's kind of a very important thing, being in round water. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's fun for all ages. So if someone is a little nervous because they heard that there are sharks in here, what would you tell them? Oh my goodness. Uh, there's no reason to be nervous whatsoever. Actually, one of my favorite animals here at the aquarium is Atlas, our black tip reef shark, and she's in here. She stays clear from you. You'll be on one side of the tank, she's on the other side. Half the time, people don't even know she's in there. I'm assuming they're all well fed. Very well fed. <laughs> well, Fiona, are you ready to get suited up? Yes. Let's all hop right, in. Let's go. So a part of the snorkeling with stingrays and sharks experience is some folks can, you know, choose to just feed the stingrays, right? Well, food comes with whether they're snorkeling, or um, but a lot of what times what happens is people get caught up feeding them <laughs> and they forget all about the actual they, snorkeling they just portion of it. They were going to snorkel. So it almost <laughs> ends up being a feed the stingrays in the water <laughs> event. Okay. Um, but it's a lot of fun and we should, you want to give it a try? Okay, what are we feeding them? So, Ooh, that looks yummy. Yes, mm. so right now I have with me what is called silver sides, which is one of, uh, part of their diet. Uh, sometimes what we'll do too is also squid. Okay. Um, so, but today we're going to use silver sides. Um, how you're going to feed them, the idea is to create a flat surface so you can hold your thumb out and create a flat surface mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. And you'll stick it right underneath on the bottom side <laughs> and you're going to feel a <laughs> suction motion, almost like the end of a vacuum cleaner. And now we're going to start oh, getting sore. Oh, now they know, now they know. You want to give it a try? Okay, so hold it like this. Yes. Mm, yummy. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, here we go. So flat surface like this? Yep. Okay. And then oh, hello. Right now, oh, oh. Well, that's Who's a that guy? That's a pilot fish. He just totally stole that out of he your totally hand. He totally did. He took both. <laughs> okay. Hi. Here you go. So these guys are? Those are bat rays. Okay. Um, here's some more food. And these guys are going to get, get up to about six feet <gasps> uh, wingspan. So oh they're still God. fairly young. stingrays and sharks here at the San Antonio Aquarium, you absolutely can. It is $39.99 per person. And of course, for more information on that and all the rules and everything you need to know, just head to sanantonioaquarium.net. 
All right, that it was incredibly cool because it's oh, yeah. not, as you saw, it's not just stingrays. I mean, they there were little baby baby sharks. Okay, <laughs> baby you sharks. You have all your, your fingertips well, there. Well, okay. and, and now that song is in my head. Okay, <laughs> and now it's in everybody's head. Sorry. <laughs> well, you know something else that you could do if you are a tourist, but even if you're a local, is take a tour around town. I did it for a Try It Tuesday, and it was a whole lot of fun. I learned a lot too. Take a look. Today's Try It Tuesday, not that I'm sitting down on the job, but I thought I would kind of uh, try and relax a little bit and sit down. Not what you think though, on a bike. This is a recumbent bike, and we are going on a bike tour of San Antonio. And let me tell you, I've been driving around in this thing a little bit, and um, it's pretty fun. See you in a second. And I'm here with Steve Wood, who is the owner of San Antonio Bike Tours, and this is actually kind of comfortable for being on a bicycle. I like this. Just like sitting in a lawn chair. It is, except I gotta provide the, uh, the power for it, right? You're gonna find it's very easy, Mike. Okay, so you do a tour all around town on one of these, right? Yes, we do two, four, and six hour tours of the city, and we have several different tours, uh, everything from uh, an introduction to downtown to a grand tour with a focus on our world heritage uh, system. Is it tourists or is it locals that, that usually do this? It's a mix. We see about uh, about 85% of our guests are from out of town and the re remainder locals. It's actually the perfect platform for touring because you don't have to balance and we can see the sights as we're going along. And as you'll discover, we're going to put a radio on you so you'll be uh, you'll hear a narration right in your ear. So you can be cruising, seeing all the sights. Can you go on the streets with these? We can. These okay. are bicycles. They're 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 treated under the under the, the the law, just like a like, okay. like a bicycle. We we try to take a, a lot of care with our guests. Uh, we we're talking to them on the radio as we're going along. We uh, we do a safety briefing before before the ride so that uh, they they understand what to expect. And the good thing is San Antonio has a pretty good bicycle infrastructure. But then the other nice thing about being a bike tour, you can go places where it's usually just for walking or wide enough for a bike, like exactly. down along the river. Exactly. What's our tour going to do? The highlights today. Today we're doing our introductory tour. This is our, our downtowner tour, and it's designed. It's a two-hour tour designed to give people an introduction to San Antonio. So we'll we'll see part of the we'll see part of the Riverwalk uh, down by the Pearl. Uh, we'll go right through the the heart of downtown, uh, get a quick introduction to uh, San Fernando Cathedral, and then uh, a little uh, little taste of King William, and a ride by the Alamo. It's about how many miles going to be covering? This will cover about eight miles. I want to ride my bicycle. Bicycle, I want to ride my bicycle. Bicycle, bicycle. Look, Ma, no hands. I can't stop this way. Off we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Still ahead, capture your memories in 360 form, how you can snap selfies from every one of your good sides. And up next, Jen Tobias Strusky heads up to Bernie for a splatter paint session your kids are gonna love without making up mess at home. Keep it right here on SA Live. and have them enjoy something a little bit more creative. We're here at what's called the cutest art studio in Bernie. It's Gina Marie's art studio. She's all about fun classes and I hear they have a splatter room inside. We're gonna go in and have some fun. I already made her. Gina Marie is all about getting kids to appreciate art. 
through her classes, but also through birthday parties. We do a lot of process art, so it's about the doing and the making, and it's not necessarily about a Picasso piece. It's about the learning part that your brain does before how you get to the end. So we do birthday parties as well, but um, we do toddler art, we do messy play, we do adult stuff too, um, we do after school art, we do a little bit of everything. But I think it's the kids, the kids make me so happy, they're always outside the box, you know. You can be messy here, save it for here and not the house, so yeah. We make slime, we have slime and splatter nights for kids, we have splatter nights for adults too. Okay. So we do a little bit of everything. And speaking of being messy, if you're wondering where we're at, this is the splatter room, Jackson Pollock splatter room. Yes. And so this is the place to come and get a little stress out and throw yeah. some paint. Okay. Well, you know, I don't know if I'm dressed appropriately. Well, Sh should we get this? A try? We can show you. How okay. about this? Okay. So maybe you should just suit up. Okay. So why the hazmat suit? Do you really need to ask? Of course, we're gonna get messy. We have some help today from Atticus and Kayla to show me what it takes to have some splattering fun here at Gina Marie's. So think co think colors for your house, think things that you might wanna hang up. Okay, just grab it and we'll come show you how to do it. So you're just gonna fling the paint just as hard as you can. Okay. So it's kind of like a wrist action thing, so you're just gonna fling it. fun here at Gina Marie's art studio. Now there's birthday classes you can do here. There's date night, girls night, anything you can think of. Just contact Gina Marie and we have her information on salive.com. But we're having fun, right guys? Thank you. Thank you for teaching me today. You want to keep playing? Yeah. All right. See you later. Are Texans so obsessed with blue bonnets? I think it's one of the few things that you can see in mass where you're, you know, when you see them, sometimes they can just be acres of solid blue. Other wildflowers will do that also, but I think the blue color is also very appealing because there just aren't that many flowers that are that color blue. And of course, they're the state flower of Texas, so there's a lot of state pride that's part of all that. Being native to the state, they've been here for millennia. They've evolved over time to be adapted to our climate and to our soil types. Um, they really only occur in Texas for the most part, and uh, I think that makes them special also. So the best time of year to see Texas wildflowers would be for blue bonnets early, I would say, in March. For a wider diversity, I would say April and May, and a lot of it is really going to depend on the weather. If we have good rains through the winter, that generally makes a good wildflower season the following spring, as long as we don't get too much rain. So too dry or too wet can be a problem. The seedlings start to germinate in the fall, so the ones that are blooming right now actually germinated the previous probably October, give or take a month or two. They grow as rosettes close to the ground for the rest of the winter and then as soon as it starts to warm up in the spring they start to elongate and make their lovely beautiful blue flowers that we all admire. And you can plant plants, actual plants, in a pot this time of year but if you want a big field of them I would suggest planting the seed in the fall. So if people want to get pictures taken with blue bonnets with their family, um, the Wildflower Center is a great place to go. We have uh, some different patches around that you can take pictures um, in the middle of the blue bonnets. We ask that people stay on the trails, but, uh, but there are some good places for that. And it's safe, you know, you don't have to deal with traffic um, or dogs or, you know, we watch for fire ants. Um, so those are all things that you have to watch out for if you're getting your blue bonnet pictures taken in other places. People often go to the roadside, which, you know, I'd be very cautious about doing that, especially if you're taking little kids or pets because you don't want to have, you know, an accident with traffic. Other places that you could go would be some of the parks, you know, uh, McKinney Ruff State Park, Enchanted Rock, or some local park would be a great place to get blue bonnet pictures.
Natural Bridge Caverns, and you are just looking at the world's largest sky trail, which is now open. It is six stories high with four different levels. Yeah, usually everything is way underground here in Natural Bridge Caverns, but we're going up. And Mario Chitari is the attractions manager here. So this thing, I mean, it looks like the giant, the world's giant maze. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, it's a, it's a big jungle gym with 50 different elements you can traverse. And while you're going through all those elements, you can ride one of the seven sky rails. So you just transition seamlessly from going across those elements onto the sky rails and you can ride them as many times as you want. So you said it's like a metal zip line almost, right? It is, it is. And there are different obstacles like lily pads and what else? Yeah, so we have lily pads, the weave walk, the big one's the rolling log. So when you're going across it, it actually rolls under your feet. <laughs> <laughs> That'll give you the points, but everybody's strapped in. And the neat thing about it, too, is once you're hooked in, you're hooked in, and you can go wherever you want to, right? Yeah, so we're going to hook you in on the ground, and you're going to be connected the entire time. You don't have to transition. You're going to stay connected till you get to the ground again. This is for all ages, or what ages? Yes, yeah, so they have to be 48 inches to participate on the course by themselves. But if they're under 48 but above 42, they can go with one of their parents. So, oh. But we do have one just for the little ones right down here called our sky types <laughs> and they have their own little sky rail there too so instead of the twisted trails they have the sky types exactly, down there that's yes. great i'm i'm ready to go this looks like fun look at people just you don't have a fear of heights do you fear of heights you know no no you're fine no, it's fine, you're fine. Well, no. do you <laughs> no okay well let's get y'all up there then <laughs> right. this is a rope bridge the rope bridge of death <laughs> yeah You look as sure-footed as a mountain goat. <laughs> Um, do we just like, you know, tuck or, you know, knees up, knees down? You're just gonna, you're just gonna walk straight through, make sure your wheels mm -hmm. are on the rail, okay. and then just walk it's off. kind of like walking the plank. It is, yeah. <laughs> 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 this is pretty, this looks a lot, a lot higher from up here. It does. <laughs> Bye, Fiona. Woo! Wheels on, sit down. Whoop. Nope. Here we go, and then just go. Wait on. Don't worry, we'll speed this up in post. Grace and elegance. Oh, yep, false start. False start. Hold on, one more time. Guys, it's David Elder, and I'm out here at La Playa Mexican Grill in Port A. I'm going to be trying out all the delicious food that they have out here, show you what's going on. They have some local favorites that we have to try. Some sea scallops I heard that are delicious. And right now, I'm drinking their People's Choice Award. This first place right here, Margarita, here in town. I'm going to sip on this. We're going to go check out the kitchen. The first dish we're going to look at at La Playa Mexican Grill, cheesy crawfish enchiladas. Cooked up by chef and owner Greg Viasana. So we start off with corn tortilla. We get uh, a little bit of butter, melted butter. Get some fresh crawfish down here. We're gonna heat that baby up on here. Put a little bit of uh, fresh lime juice in there. A bit of red and green bell peppers. A little bit of grill spice. It has like red, uh, white pepper, camino, just a variety of spices. Any inspiration behind it all? Did you grow up with Cajun food or did you? Well, I grew up in Houston, not a lot of Cajun food, just, you know, experimenting. This is a creamy.
creamy, smoky chipotle sauce. A little bit of white cheese. So it's just sip of the salamander. Get that cheese nice and melted. Get this out. We call this is our fiesta rice, which is white parboiled rice. And then we add a little bit of a red and green bell pepper to it. A little bit of roasted corn. A little bit of fresh cilantro. And then to round off the dish, we're gonna add some black beans that we serve with it. A bit of white cheese. For garnish, voila. Nice. That's a good looking dish. Yeah, I'm putting a little bit of crawfish on top just so you, we know what it is. And there she blew. This is their crawfish enchiladas. They're making this all fresh in house, that chipotle sauce. Crawfish, fresh, cooked right there in front of you. Bell peppers in there as well, mixed around. It's like Cajun meets a little Texas, makes a little Southwest blended together, right? And then you got the black beans on the side. You have their rice on there as well, with a little bit of fresh corn, cilantro, bell peppers on that one as well. Dig right in. And you know my rule, if it comes with lime, you gotta use it. So there we go, got a lime right on top. I'm just gonna put it all over this thing. But there's the bite. A little bit of crawfish, enchilada, and some bell peppers in there. It works. I've never had crawfish and enchiladas. And that's really good. Super fresh. Uh, I mean, really great flavors. The last dish that we're going to be trying out here today are grilled sea scallops. Now check this out. It's got serrano pineapple cream sauce on the bottom, perfectly grilled sea scallops on top, a little bit of cilantro, a little bell pepper on the side for some garnish. Comes with limes on there as well. Very straightforward. Of course, rule of thumb, got the lime, got to use it. So here we go. Ooh, that was a juicy one. Put that right on top. Didn't take long to make these scallops, and now it's perfect. So you don't want to overcook the scallop. Oh yeah, nice and tender. Ooh. I'm gonna go all in on this one. That's the bite right there. Shut it down, y'all. <laughs> Shut it down. I mean, all oh, their scallops. Ain't gonna be none left for you. So you guys gotta come out here, La Playa Mexican Grill, located right near the beach. Just head towards the beach and you'll find it. Put in your GPS, of course, but you guys, delicious Mexican food and very, very good seafood as well. Coupled together, a little fusion going on as well as with the Cajun, a little Southwest, a little Mexican, all thrown in together. These scallops are a standout. You won't find anything like this out here in Porte, maybe even this whole region of Texas. Outstanding scallops, gotta check them out. I'm gonna go to my happy place. I'm gonna finish eating these things. See y'all later. A family outing in the heart of Fernie. Today, we take you to the Richter building. We're gonna learn some history, do some shopping, maybe have some wine, plus there's a bookstore for the kids. But first, coffee at the Richter Bach House. Inside this small and quaint bakery, you'll find a large selection of breakfast and lunch items. Check out this baby. It's ham and egg sandwich on a pretzel bun. Yes, please. The handmade breads are made fresh daily. The dough is filled with olive oil, including lemon zest, thyme, basil, and oregano. It's baked in and out comes the fresh bread that you can buy. Looks delicious. As you can see, it's made with happiness and love, of course. It's time I get to try something for myself. First things first, I need my coffee. Thank you so much. And I thought I wasn't hungry, but what a way to start out the day. Look at everything they have in here. Oh my gosh, everything looks so amazing. Jen, I got you covered. A oh. roll and a banana nut duffin. Whoa. Right outside Richter Bach House, we have plenty of seating and look at the history here. This is pretty cool. They used the old Bernie Star newspapers on their little tray liners. I'm going to eat and then we are going to look at that cream cheese. Oh my goodness. Then we're going to find out more on the history. Mm. The history of this building dates back over 100 years. And in fact, uh, right outside that door, it was a dirt road. Mm -hmm. Primarily horse and buggies at the time, and these pesky Model Ts kept showing up and breaking down. 
So the Richter family, which is what many of the restaurants here are named after, built this to repair all the Model Ts. So if you can imagine, instead of shops, it was full of old cars all stacked up through the hallway. Yeah. We, we do have a Model T here, it's a 1922, so it's almost as old as the building. A lot of the history came with it. In fact, everywhere we dug to put the second story up above us, we found Model T parts and old whiskey bottles. Oh, of course. <laughs> Sounds fun. Yeah. Now it's time for some fun. Next stop, Richter Cork and Keg. Such a nice setting in here. Inside, I got to try a flight featuring nothing but Texas wine. And there's a lot more to offer than that. So we do have a lot of awesome Texas wines here, as well as California wines, French wines. One of the favorite things of all the girls is our mimosas, and this is our lavender peach mimosa. Wait, say that one more time. Lavender peach mimosa. Okay. That's all I have to say. The lavender peach mimosa, let me tell you, the perfect amount of sweet, but that hint of lavender, oh, perfect. Joey was so nice, she insisted on giving me a lesson in savoring a bottle of champagne. Let me warn you, I've never done this before. Now my turn. Oh. To get a successful saber, you need to get the sword right under the lip of the bottle. Here goes nothing. Okay, so slide as far back and you're gonna catch it. Just go like that, right? Don't be scared. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. <laughs> now that's why you just leave some things to the experts. Here it is again, super slow-mo. need a drink after that. On the bright side, you can take your drink from Cork and Keg to the other shops in the Richter building while you browse. Now that's my kind of shopping. Looking for handcrafted jewelry? Plaza Taxco has you covered with a wide selection of silver, which comes from a well-known silver store in Mexico. So many cute things in here. Head into Uptown Chic, you'll find some cute clothes for mom, but also for the little ones. And <laughs> more jewelry, yes, that's Kendra Scott. The Bernie Bookshop, what a perfect way to take the kids in, have them play with some games, but also get them to pick out a book and do some reading. Five mom approved stops in one building. That's my kind of place. The Richter Building definitely has my mom's stamp of approval. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Drusky. a Hollywood style photo shoot oh, at yes, your in. own home. Yeah, Marco Buenrostro from MBP Photo Booth is here with a setup that you are not going to believe. This is one of the coolest things that we have had on the show. Good afternoon, sir. Hi, so, hi, thank you for having me. I know we like to think of ourselves as being put on a pedestal, but why are we up here? <laughs> yes, I, I kind of feel like the statue right yeah, now. Yeah, no, you, you guys look great. So uh, this is our 360 experience. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure you guys have seen the red carpets, you know, where you get the whole angle from every angle <laughs> yay so this is what it is basically we have our camera right here which is going to be spinning all around you and it's going to capture every shot and okay. it's going to create a really really cool 360 video so this is what it looks like because we tried this out a little bit earlier and yes. got some pretty cool <laughs> I mean, look at these videos. They're so awesome. Uh, so, and of course, you bring this to parties, weddings. Yeah, so basically, yeah. I mean, we do anything from music festivals mm -hmm. to galas, weddings, uh, red carpet events like this. Um, yeah, I mean, any celebration. This is a great excuse, you know, to, to have fun. And but, you can pretty much do anything you want to as long as you stay mm -hmm. within this little hexagon, this yeah. little pedestal that you're yeah, on. Yeah, I mean, you can pretend you're dancing. You can just pose, be a diva up there. And I mean, at, at the end, the production is going to be amazing. So it turns it into a really, really nice um, 360 slow motion video. And, and the cool thing is, too, is it takes about as long as the pictures come out on a regular photo booth yeah. or, or even quicker than yeah, that. I mean, the camera spins for about six seconds and then it turns it into like an 18 second video. Um, but yeah, you're in and out in like less than 30 seconds. Okay, and you said you do this for even kids parties too, right? Yeah, we were actually just booked for a one year um, birthday party. 
Yeah. The mom loved it, and she's like, I want this for my kid. I mean, she said, of course, I'm going to be the one enjoying it, right, but, right, you know, right, it's right. for her. Right. <laughs> just a baby sitting right there. Yeah. And then, so when you take it, does it, can it just go straight to folks' phones if they want? I mean... Yeah. So once you get off the platform, mm -hmm. it pops up on a different um, sharing station that we have. Put your phone number, you get the link, download it, and put it on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, wherever you want it. What and do folks say who haven't done this before, and then they see it? It's so crazy. Uh, people just... Uh, they just love it. They're like, oh my god, this is what we see on the red carpet. That's exactly what we did earlier. Yeah. We were like, ah, look at that. You walked in here and you see it, and it literally it is amazing. Yeah, some people think the actual platform spins. So they're like, oh my god, right. we're gonna fall. But it's like, no, not you. The camera will go around you. Right. And then it will create the, the whole experience. And obviously this is kind of taking the place of the regular photo booth, but you're the only one in town, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So right now we are the only local uh, photo booth company that has it. Um, the 360 is definitely trending this year, so we'll be seeing a lot of, of the slow motion 360 <gasps> videos this year, for sure. We're, we're, we're hip. I know, we're, we're the first. Trending. You're one of the first. <laughs> yes. They're going to think we're cool again. Well, thank you so very thank much you. for yeah, this. This yes. just made our, 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 our um, I'm glad you guys looked amazing. And you look really good. Thank you. Well, it took a village. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. For more information on MVP Photo Booth, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. to right. do if you haven't thought of anything to do, but if you are going somewhere for spring break, again, let us know. Send those pictures in. We want to show them to everybody. Yes, share your comments on Facebook and Twitter at SA Live KSAT. You know, and tell us, even if, even if you have some pictures of where you've been in the past on spring break, there are those too. Remember, it's a family show. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. And if you are heading out for spring break, mm -hmm. be very careful. We want to see you back here. We'll see you back here tomorrow as well. All right. My name's not important, but they call me Tornado. I was raised on a beaten down ranch outside of Laredo. Many tried to break me, but I would never be broke. Left them nursing their pride, their heads hanging low. I got sideways with some cowboy short round in Casper. He was strong, he was stout. There ain't no doubt, but I was faster. I've been under the lights on a few Saturday nights. And to tell you the truth, that's when I shine. I've been on the road for so long Throw every cowboy that tried to hold on All the money and the buckles turned my glory days go Now I'm growing old They call me Tornado Time horse of the year, I had a good run. Years in the fame flew by like yesterday's sun. Every man used to fear me when he drew my name. Those days are long gone. I 
I've been on the road for so long Thrown every cowboy that tried to hold on All the money and the buckles turned my glory days gold Now I'm growing 